And welcome back, everybody, to Gabriel Knight. I think we saw this. In fact, I'm almost positive we did, but we'll watch it again, just to give me a refresher. Ah, uh, yes, I do remember this quite well. But it's worth watching this great acting again. Love that they probably just grabbed some National Geographic videos on the wolves. Oh shit. Seriously? Damn it. Sorry about that, folks. Now this is really turned unprofessional. I got a phone call that the FBI reports break ins every 30 seconds and, you know, yada yada. Looks so realistic. <gasps> and they do the hand grab like eight to Ah, oh, this is I love this. See <sighs> I miss these games so much. have really we've got very little honestly we've got that whole thing Boop. that hole is a trigger for the secret passageway yes it is oh can I take any of this I don't think I need that I don't think all right uh, let's get out of here thank you um I guess the best thing to do would just be to let's hit town. She's gone. I wonder what Gerda's up to. I wonder what Gerda's up to. Let's try and uh, sneak into her room. Thank you. Is she in her room? I don't want to go back into Geta's bedroom. She might. Oh, okay. Never mind. Maybe she's out and about then. I would have liked to go through Gerda's paperwork there, but. I thought Gabriel said this place was stripped. I guess Gerda's been busy shopping with the new Ritter fortune. Gerda's been a real pig about those car keys. <laughs> Grace Nakamura. Um... I don't think there's anywhere new that we can really go. So let us... Let us just start left to right. Now there was... Wasn't there like some flowery crap? Yeah. I wonder what kind of flowers these are. It's probably some like wolf spain or something. So let's uh, let's just make our way through. I'd say in a point and click that's really the, the best thing to do when you start get to a new chapter. Just make your way through kind of cursory. Don't really spend too much time, just uh, investigate. 
Jurgen. And these guys again. Hi, dead people. Wolfgang Ritter, 10 May 1923. I think that's. So you don't really have anything else there, at least. Oh, hello. I don't want to disturb her. Oh, okay. Never mind then. So we just taken quick glances around. We'll talk to some new people, some old people. The bar will probably hit up and. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. Guess they're closed. Oh. Nothing really too obvious just from this. Again, I'm, I'm kind of just really looking for people. The bar, I think, is going to be where I'm going to, uh... <gasps> Von Rolick slept here. A little sweat stain on the side of the, uh... So nothing really... yet. I'm a little bit surprised. I would have ex I would have actually expected something at the church since we didn't get a lot of use in that back room yet. Ding ding. Did you deliver my package? Oh, Gabriel sent something, didn't he? Guten Tag. Grüß Gott, Frau Nakimura. Ich habe etwas für Sie. Oh, it's from Gabriel. <gasps> yeah, that's from Schattenjäger. Yeah. No, I, I think you... Gabriel is a working partner and... <laughs> Never mind. Guten Tag. Danke. Bitte, brauchen Sie noch etwas? My German isn't good enough for chit-chat. Okay. Danke. Bitte. Apparently their German is really bad from what a few people have said. Is this the... So... Gracie, something's come up. I'm on a new case. Too bad you're not here to help, but Gerda can handle any research I need. Oh, is this... I'll call or write as soon as I can. I know no, I have isn't... a little grand I send my... Okay. This isn't it, though. Is this the... No. <sighs> God damn it. Inventory navigation in this game is not as easy as one might think. This is it. Yes? Gracie, you decided to come over. That's great. Good and tag and all that. I'm sure you and Gertie are hitting it off. <laughs> Thanks for finding the werewolf book. I'm not sure what it all means, but it might be useful. But Ludwig II, you know, I think you might have something there. Ubergrau says there are two places you should check out. Ludwig had a castle called New Swan something, and there's a museum about him at here in chemistry. Something like that. I really think you should spend some time looking into it. Don't worry. Things are going very smoothly this time around. I've tracked a suspect to a hunt club run by a man named Von Glauer. He seems okay, but I'm sure there's something going on with at least one of the others. Don't worry, though. I met a police detective named Lieber, so I have backup. I'll be finished soon. Sit tight and enjoy your visit till I get there. Gabriel. What does he think? I'm on vacation here? <laughs> and no address. Thank you very much, Mr. Knight. Are you allowed to send mail without a return address? <laughs> I guess if you're a shot in Jaeger, you can do whatever the hell you want. Hello! Oh god, these... Hello there, dear. Hi, I'm Grace Nakamura from the castle. Am I interrupting? Heaven 
Let's no. Have a seat, Miss Nakamura. Well, I might. <laughs> Nakamura. Isn't this nice? We just finished our breakfast. Do you want something? No, thanks. Good for you. I can never turn down food myself. <laughs> now you just tell us all about it, sugar pie. What am I telling you all about? You mentioned the other night that you were a demonologist. What is that exactly? Well, it's not as bad as it sounds, honey. What Emily and I really do is to help protect people. Protect them from what? Well, well do you believe in the devil, Miss Nakamura? I believe in good and evil, if that helps. Oh, but Satan and his demons are real, and they will attack the living. And most folks don't know what to do once they've been attacked. We try to help protect people. <laughs> How can you protect people from demons? best protection is faith in God, of course. But sometimes faith isn't enough. Sometimes we have to delve into the supernatural in order to protect others. Your shot and joggers are just the same. We are? I mean, he is? Of course! The warriors of light are rare these days, but they do exist all around the globe. That's interesting. I just read about a group called Manos del Sol in Brazil. So the Ritters aren't the only Schottenjägers. Well, they're probably the only ones to use that title. But others have been chosen for the battle. Hmm. Like us! <laughs> Do you know anything about King Ludwig II? Sure, we saw his castles, didn't we, Mother? We sure did. Why do you ask? Well, I found a letter in the Schottenegger library warning Ludwig about the Black Wolf. Who wrote the letter? One of Gabriel's ancestors, a Schottenegger. Hmm. Seems like whoever was using me as a megaphone helped you find that letter. Perhaps you should follow the path something's pointing at. Look into Ludwig. I intend to. Thank you. <laughs> He's such a bitch. I love it. The other night you said something about the Black Wolf. What did you mean? Where did you hear that name? I wasn't the one talking. That's the game's audio, by the way. I don't understand. Well, that's quite all right. The point is, it would be a very good idea to answer those questions, and we must work together to do so. Of course I'll help you, Pumpkin. I'd like to know myself, wouldn't I? It isn't every day one's taken over by a disembodied spirit, and I don't much care for it, thank you. You're not talking about a seance, are you? Oh, heavens no. Thank God. Emma's right. I'm much better at tarot cards. I can read for you or for someone else if you prefer. Uh. Are you sure you don't know anything about the Black Wolf? See, it's fixed now. I Their audio consistency I is... Told you. Really, you mustn't confuse the vessel with the voice. All I remember was seeing a very bright flash like lightning. Next thing I knew, Emil had me outside. Whatever it was, it was very powerful. Very powerful. Oh, boy. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to do my tarot reading. Don't you worry now. I know what I'm doing. Push your vital energies into the cards. <laughs> How I do that? <laughs> this is your soul card. That which applies to all of your lifetimes. It's the Empress. Oh, that's a good one. What's it mean? It means that your soul's journey is one of leadership. There's great strength here and intelligence. And you're a bitch. This card represents what you're like in this lifetime. It's the chariot, self-discipline, control. You need to feel you have a plan that you're testing your abilities. The chariot's very masculine. In combination with the Empress, it tells me that you're currently exploring your male side. Or that you have you a penis. Seek out great achievement, but it does have its price. Doesn't sound anything like me. Yes, dear. The third card represents the other. You've pulled the magician. Who is he, dear? Excuse me? Your other, the magician. Oh, this is a very powerful card. Major <laughs> Arcana. My other? Everyone has an other. 
Let's see. I bet it's the Schotten Jogger. What's his name? The Schotten Jager? Gabriel Knight? A name of power. <laughs> he is powerful, this one. The magician is dexterous and cunning, mischievous and manipulate. That's Gabriel, all right. And very strong with magical and occult powers. Now, this is interesting because your card, the chariot, is all logic and reasoning, while his, the magician, is spiritual and intuitive. You two are quite a pair. Oh. Oh, the fourth God. card shows what you're trying to achieve at this moment, your immediate destiny. It's yes. the strength or lust card. Lust? Not that kind of lust, dear. It's a trial card, finding the strength to continue some difficult journey. It also represents the integration of conflicting energies. That must be your chariot and his magician energies. Mm. Strength also means bonding those energies, loving without judgment, learning to love the beast. Uh huh. What is this trial, dear? Do you know? Um, well, Gabriel and I are involved with the case right now. It will be a hard time. You must let your love give you power. Use the positive energy of your union or you may not succeed. I think you have the wrong idea. <laughs> Gabriel and I just work together. Yes, dear. But if I might just suggest when you're facing negative forces, the positive energy of love is a very vital weapon. You make yourself vulnerable when you resist your own tools. Well, that's been helpful. Mm -hmm. I hope so, dear. Mm -hmm. That has told us absolutely nothing. <laughs> Maybe we should do a reading for Gabriel. Oh, let's! It's a little like spying on someone unawares, but what the heck? <laughs> oh! Dear God. <sighs> Reach out to the cards and to think about his essence. <laughs> his soul card is the magician. Yes, dear! Uh, it reflects your other exactly. Well, maybe, but I'd rather hold out for David Copperfield. And his lifetime card? Oh, goodness. The lovers. You mean the sole purpose of his life is in his pants? Doesn't surprise me. It's not what you think, dear. It's a duality card. As a lifetime card, it refers to Gabriel's own duality. Good versus evil, physical pleasure versus spiritual growth, that kind of thing. His challenge is to integrate the conflicting parts of himself. Until he does, he'll never find peace. Okay. And you will find peace when you acknowledge all of him. Find a way to love the worst as you already love the best. You're really reaching. Mother. His other is the High Priestess. Let me guess. That's me, right? No, dear, it's not. Oh. The High Priestess represents psychic mysteries, deep wisdom. This is a very different energy from your earthy one. This must be our connection. To the voice, dear! Someone is trying to communicate with Gabriel. This force is represented by the High Priestess. That's not much help. What about the black wolf? But it is a help, dear. The high priestess is a spiritual guide card if ever there was one. The message must have been a warning. If this force is connected to Gabriel and if he's so very psychic, then why doesn't it just go to him? Why say it to me? Maybe Gabriel's blocked. Maybe he's purposefully blocking. There is that duality business. Let's go on and see if it becomes clear. The fourth I'll bet card you it does. Up represents the current situation. It's... Death. Death. Hey! Oh. Wasn't that the same card as strength? Nothing to worry about then. Now you just leave interpretation up to me, sugar pie. It's a transformation card. Dying to one thing and being born to another. 
It is painful, but it isn't necessarily bad. Oh, now it is. Two of wands. Oh my. What? A two is not good here. Wands is Mars in Aries. That's a war card. In conjunction with the death card, there are two possible transformations. Two transformations? Yes, Either dies dear. or becomes a werewolf. Gabriel is waging a spiritual battle. The transformation might be good or evil. That must be the purpose of the High Priestess. She's trying to guide him. So you think he really might be in danger? <laughs> oh, yes, dear. Gabriel's very essence is at stake. If he takes the wrong path with his powers... I gotta mute myself. Emil and I will stay in town. You must let me know if anything else happens that we can read for clues. Let the Force use you. Let the Force be with you. I, I guess where I find it so fun. I'd better go. Anytime you need us, stop by. And be careful now. Yeah. Thanks. Well, that was enlightening. Uh... <laughs> I guess what I find so funny about that is she's like the cold calculating logic type. She was the chariot. You don't believe this stuff. <gasps> but Gabriel might be in trouble. <laughs> he's hunting a freaking werewolf. You know he's in trouble. Hello, sir. I should cut off soon, actually. Uh-oh. Did I break? Nope. Hey, Huba? Yes? Hi. I was wondering if you've changed your mind about telling me where Gabriel is. It's really important. No. Sorry. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Thanks. Bitte? Bitte. Yeah. All right, folks. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for uh, sticking with this game. And I'll see you in the next episode. See you then, folks.